I would say a couple of the more amusing ones, I mean one of them for sure is the idea that if you demonstrate so much interest at a school that you're automatically a shoe in So by putting Yale on speed dial and it's number nine and every morning you press pound nine and you call the Yale admission office and you uh, tell the dean at Yale how wonderful Yale is and how much you still want to go there, that all of a sudden by the time he gets your file he'll know you so well and he'll know you want to go to Yale so badly that he can't help but overlook your C in pre-calculus. Um, the reality is that's just not true. And there is a fine line between demonstrating interest and being annoying. So you just sort of have to kind of know where that line is. It's different with every school, it's different with every situation, but channel your motivation and, and ask yourself, why am I really calling this person? Why am I really emailing this person? Why do I really like this school? And, and that's the way in which you create actions or you create a circumstance or situation to allow your actions to be genuine. And, and that will come out whether you realize it or not. Thinking about how to do it is much more about looking for the formal channels and taking sort of informal risks on occasion if you do have a genuine interest in that school. And what I mean by that is, if you're thinking about early decision, visit the campus and do an interview. If you really like this school and it's you know, one of your top three schools and you have seven schools on your list and, and this is really one of your top three schools, then sure call the school, ask to speak to the counselor in that particular area, keep them on the phone for no less than five minutes, ask them not too general but fairly general slightly specific questions. So don't ask do I have an international relations program because you should know that. Ask tell me about some of the faculty research in your international relations program because that might not be something you can find online and it shows a level of understanding, a level of depth a level of sort of complexity uh, that's implied without you having to overstate yourself. And then follow that up with a nice card or an email thanking them for their time. And then leave it there. When you're done applying, you've sent all your applications in, send them a little email. Say, hey, just following up, I finished up my application, I'm still really excited. I know you've got a lot of reading ahead of you. Good luck um, and maybe I'll talk to you in a few months crossing my fingers, dot, 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 smiley face, Casey. You know, that's a perfect email. There's some level of commitment. There's some level of kind of personal engagement. It's slightly cute, but not over the line. And it doesn't really do anyone any harm uh, to sit in their office for 30 seconds and read that email.